Are you trying to proxy Android apps for a penetration testing project, but can't seem to get it to work? Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any future video about the cybersecurity world focused at all technical levels. So today might be a bit of more of an intermediate tutorial and what we'll be doing is setting up a Android phone to be able to proxy through Burp Suite. This same principle will apply for different proxies such as Fiddler or Load Runner and will basically allow you to capture all the API calls to and from a web server. This can be really helpful when you are doing any sort of penetration testing or wanting to have a look at what the API is doing behind the scenes or if you're potentially a performance tester wanting to be able to script the amount of load going on for your mobile users. But before we get started, just wanted to mention we need to have a rooted Android device and a optional extra is a Wi-Fi hotspot. To make this video easy to digest, I've broken it into three main components. The first is setting up your PC as a proxy. The second will be setting up your Android phone. And the third will just be having it all come together and intercepting the traffic. So let's get into it. So the PC part is really quite simple. All we need to do is set up our proxy listener. And to do so, we also need to grab our local IP address. So we'll start with that. We'll just go into run and type CMD and we'll run just IP config. Uh, I've got a lot of interfaces on this machine, but the one you need to look out for is your primary interface. So for me, that's Ethernet adapter three and the IPv4 address 192.168.20.13. So I'm just going to copy that to a notepad file just so I have it handy for when I need it or if I forget it. The next thing we want to do is open Burp Suite and we want to go into proxy and then options. Now, I assume here you already have your default uh, proxy lister running on 127.0.0.1 on port 8080, but if you don't, just configure that now. What we'll do now is add the add another listener for our Android traffic. So what we'll do is we'll go to add proxy and we'll go to all interfaces and we'll bind it to port 8081. This can be any port that you like, but so long as you remember it and it's not already used. And that basically concludes what we need to do on Burp Suite. Uh, now we'll move on to the Android configuration. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as our proxy host. So we'll just go into the Wi-Fi settings and just connect it to the same network. Okay, we will need to change these settings in a moment, but for now, we'll just leave them as is. And what we'll be doing is going into the Play Store and we'll be downloading an app. This app is called Root Certificates Manager and it's the first one there. So as it mentions, it requires Root. So it's already installed in this device, but go ahead and install it. And this is what it does. So go back home, we'll use this again in a moment. So now let's just navigate back to our settings for our Wi-Fi. Go to manage network settings and go to show advanced. Now we're going to want to add the IP address of our proxy host here under the proxy. So we'll go manual host name, just put in the IP address. So it was 192.168. Dot twenty dot thirteen. The proxy port we set to eighty eighty one, and we don't want to have any bypass URLs, so we just save that, and it's connected. You might get a uh, pop up saying that the internet connection is limited. If you do, don't worry. That's that's perfectly expected. Now, if we go into our Chrome and we type HTTP burp, this should take us to the proxy server running on our desktop. So you can see here, it's just a standard uh, website. If you've ever done this before, you'll probably know what to do. You'd want to, you want to download the CA certificate and we just save it as is to downloads or anywhere where you remember where it is. Great. 
So we've got the burp certificate and we've already proxied our uh, traffic, but we, now we need to install the SSL certificate so we can decrypt SSL information. So to do so, we just need to go into our root manager again and we click the folder and we, see, we go to downloads and we can see the certificate that we just downloaded and we import that. And now it's imported as a root certificate, not as a user certificate. So once it's installed through root certificate manager, we also need to install it through the standard method. This will allow us to proxy just standard uh, web browser traffic as in addition to app traffic. So to do so, just find your file manager on whatever Android system that you're running. On Samsung, uh, there's the My Files app, and we have the certificate here. We need to enable a lock screen so we can import it, and then just import it as burp or whatever you name it as, and set it to Wi-Fi. I've already done this, um, so now to test it, we can just go to a HTTPS website uh, such as reddit.com and we can see that it's loading uh, and we can check on our computer if it's proxying that traffic. Likewise, uh, as for apps, we'll use uh, a app here which is very popular in Sydney called TripView so we can see how late our Sydney trains are running. And we'll just do any destination. And we can see that it's pulled back the real time uh, train locations, uh, which is requiring an API call. So we'll have a look on the computer just to inspect the traffic, just to make sure everything is going through fine and that we can see it. So now if we have a look at Burp Suite and we'll just go into our HTTP history, we can see that Okay, so we've gone to reddit.com, we've gone to Google, which is something I just did off camera, and we can see that there's the api.tripview.com.au, and we can then look at the request and response data. So we can conclude that this is now working fine. So we can then start to proxying our web or app traffic, just like we normally would to test these APIs. Now I will mention that this method does not work for SSL pinning. SSL pinning is a way of uh, bundling a SSL certificate along with an application. So we'll only trust the certificate that it was bundled along with and not any of the user or root certificates. There's a bypass method for this, uh, but it is very hit and miss. And if possible, if you were working on this with say a client, then I'd just recommend asking them to rebuild the application without the SSL pinning. So then you can carry out your penetration test. I will mention though that this is a very rare amount of the time and I've even, uh, this method will even work with say banking apps uh, here in Australia at least. Uh, so I haven't had any issues there. It's just a rare, rare occurrence that SSL pinning may throw a spanner in the works for you. Well guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that your Android app is now successfully proxying through your Burp Suite. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll get around to answering those. As always, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, really helps me out and it helps me grow this channel. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.